Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Cold by Aqualung and Lucy Schwartz for the movie Twilight. And it starts on a D minor chord. And the way you play D minor, first finger is going to go to the high E on the first fret, second finger is going to go G string on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings of, that, uh, of the guitar, just that D, G, B, and E, that'll get you your clearest sound with that. And that's called D minor, and it sounds very, very sad. And then from the D minor, we're going to kind of use that for our intro. And then when our verses start, we're going to do a D minor, another D minor. But then we're going to go to an A major chord. And the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger on the G on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the second fret. So it's a big party on the second fret. And you kind of play all the strings together, and that sounds like an A major chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then the A major is getting used to point right back to the D minor chord. So then we're back on D minor, and then we go back to A major, and then D minor, A major, D minor, A major, D minor, and then we kind of start our second verse, it's that same progression, we got D minor, D minor, D minor, A major, D minor, A major, D minor, a major, D minor, A major, D minor, another D minor, and then we're going to be going to a B flat major chord for our chorus, and this is kind of cool because the chorus is working off, off a three chord phrase instead of what would normally be a four chord phrase, is what you normally find, but we're going to a B flat major, and there are a couple ways you could play this, and the easiest way to play it would be doing first finger on the high E on the first fret, third finger on the G string on the on the third fret and the pinky on the B string on the third fret and if you show them the top three strings that will get you a clear sound for B flat major or if you want to you could add in the D string to that and kind of have a little bit thicker uh, B, B major or B flat major or if you want to you could do first finger on the high E, third finger on the B on the third, third finger on the G string on, on the third just like what we were doing and see if you can get the second finger to kind of stretch to the D string on the third and then you could do the top four strings with that and still have a B flat major. But a lot of times B flat major gets played as a bar chord. So if you left like the two on the D um, string and then three and then four and took your first finger and kind of barred across the entire first fret, that would make a B flat major chord kind of all the way across all the strings. And a lot of times with that chord, I like doing what, what's, what I call a double bar where I bar the first fret all the way across and then take my third finger and kind of go across the D, G, B to try and get the B flat major that way, kind of using my third finger as a bar to kind of, just kind of strum those notes. But if you're just starting out, actually that first B flat major we're talking about is a good option. And then from that B flat major, we're going to be going to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And on our chorus, we're basically revolving between the, the B flat, the C, and then we're going to be going to the A major. So we're going B flat, C, A major, B flat, B flat, oh, C, A major, and then we're going back to the D minor at the very, very end of our chorus. And then that idea kind of gets expanded into our bridge outro, where, where we just kind of keep that B-flat CA going. But, but a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding what I call a strum pattern to it. And this particular song almost feels like it's in a 6-8 time signature, where you would do a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up for each chord. So we took that D minor and just tried that a lot. We have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. kind of get your right hand um, used to that. But then we try that through our verse progression. We got D minor with down, down, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, down, D minor, down, down, up, 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 down, up,
Right, so we got our B flat down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C flat down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, C down, down, up, down, up, down, down, time we're gonna end up doing it one two three four five six seven eight times <laughs> so we got B flat down down up down up down down up down C down down up piano licks that you could kind of steal for acoustic guitar and one of them would be going between the B and the E string on the D minor chord it would be going third fret on the B and the first fret on the high E <coughs> so we did that a lot just that three one 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 that could be kind of a cool way to intro the tune just using that one leg because people might recognize that and go, oh my gosh, it's cold. All right. But um, on the outro part, there's a really cool little bass lick where, where you go open D and then third fret on the D and then open G and then second fret on the G and then open G and then third fret on the D and then open D. So you want O3, G string, O2, O, D string, 3, open D. At the same time, you kind of still hear that arpeggio, that three one three one three one three one three one three one, three, one, three, one and you're going D F G A G F D, kind of in the background. Now, if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could kind of get your fingers to do the three one part, and if you're using a pick, then you could use the pick to kind of put that part together. And so you'd have the open D with the three one three three one. And then you go to three on the D for three one, open G with the three one, second fret on the G with the three one, open G with the three one, third 
third fret on a D with a three one, and then open D with a three one, three one, three one. be kind of a cool thing to try and add to and that's called hybrid picking where you're using the pick with the fingers and if you knew, if you wanted to get that and, and that feels really weird doing hybrid picking you could even try just finger style where you do the thumb and the index in the middle for, for the D string notes G string notes with the thumb and kind of take the B string notes for the index and then the high E string for, for the middle finger so you kind of be doing the, 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 the same thing, same idea. So you have thumb index together with a middle after it, I like pretty much through that, that whole intro part. So that might be something kind of cool to kind of try and add there too, like either at the end or even at the beginning to kind of intro the tune. So anyway, but that's the basics of how you can play Cold by Aqualung with Lucy Swartz uh, from the Twilight movie. So good luck!